If you're like me and use these 18650 lithium ion cells in many of your devices, then just like everyone else, you want the highest capacity reliable cell for the least amount of money. The cells you see here are Panasonic NCR 18650Bs. These popular lithium ion cells will have a capacity of around 3.3 to 3.4 amp hours. Not too long ago, I purchased four of these cells on Amazon, and I believe I paid around $26 shipped. And after testing them using my electronic load, I determined the cells were genuine because the discharge capacity measurements were between 3,250 milliamp hours and 3,350 milliamp hours. What I decided to do was look for the lowest price for four of the NCR 18650Bs online, and I came across the four you see right here for only $15.24 shipped, and it took just over two weeks to arrive. Many viewers in the past told me, go to AliExpress, buy your NCR 18650Bs, you could pick them up for around five bucks. So in this case, they're around $3.80 each. If you've purchased any brand of the 18650 cells, you would know that eBay is just full of fakes when it comes to purchasing these cells as well as other batteries. And many other places online, batteries and cells are one of the most popular items sold as fakes or the capacity values for the cells are grossly overstated. So what I'm going to do in this video is put these cells to the test. The first thing I would like to do is check the weight of the cell. A genuine cell is right around 47 to 48 grams. Let me zero this out. We're on grams and gently lay this in the center right here. So just under 46, which is just a little under the specifications for around 47.5. So 1.7 grams lighter, and one more at random, 46.4, so around 46 grams. So that's not a bad sign, because in a previous video I showed you another cell that claimed to be higher in capacity than these, but they were far lighter. Now for the discharge capacity test, I'm going to be choosing three at random. Originally I was just going to do two, one is going to be drained at a constant current of 1 amp, so that's roughly 0.3C. Another one at random is going to be discharged at 0.5C, which is 1,650 milliamps. And the last cell is going to be discharged at 1C, which is going to be a 3.3 amp constant current discharge. Before I start the 0.3C test, I'm going to make sure that each one of these cells are fully charged. For all three capacity tests, I'm going to be using this precision dual channel DC electronic load. Let me connect up the first cell, which is fully charged now, up to 4.2. It's been sitting off the charger for about five minutes. And you can see the voltage is just a little bit lower than 4.2. It does settle down after it's removed from the charger. And you can see where it says current, it's at one amp. We're going to start right now. And you can see right here, the first test has just completed. We have 2.525 amp hours or 2,525 milliamp hours. That's around 775 milliamp hours less than a brand new Panasonic 18650B. Now we're going to do the second test at 0.5C, which is 1,650 milliamps. And we just finished up on this test at 2.566 amp hours or 2,566 milliamp hours, just a little higher capacity than the previous test. And the measurement for this cell is very close to the previous cell. Now we're going to do the highest current at 1C. And you can see the voltage dropping to that 2.5 volts cutoff. We're almost finished. And we have 2.511 amp hours or 2,511 milliamp hours. And there you have it. The average capacity is roughly 2.5 amp hours. And that's well below the 3.3 amp hours that I was looking for. Not good at all, but this happens quite frequently when you purchase cells online. More than likely, I would have to guess because it's so easy to 
recap the cells and rewrap the cells, probably extracted from laptops that were used for maybe a year or two. The capacity over time due to cycling will become lower. The one thing that I learned is you have to buy these cells from a reputable seller. What's stupid about this is if the company would have just sold these 18650 cells with an advertised rating of 2500 milliamp hours for only $3.80 each shipped, they probably would sell a lot because there are many other cells being sold online that don't even come close to 2500 milliamp hours for 18650s. Now the last thing I want to do is just take one of the cells, cut off the wrapper to take a look underneath. And right here's what it looks like with the wrapper removed. And usually on the Panasonic 18650Bs when you pull the cover off or the heat shrink, you would see like a small QR code and some writing. I don't see that on here. So now I'm beginning to wonder if this is actually just a copy, which is very possible. And maybe that's why the capacity is not that high. It may be a new cell, but it just doesn't have the capacity of the 18650B. Here's a look at the end there. And guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thank you.